Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome to episode 52 of my bee breeding guide. And this one is a bit of a doozy. There's a lot to go through. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be taking a hike off of the industrious branch of bees to come to the Metallic 2 branch. And as you can see, there's a lot added. There are 10 bees added to this branch. Uh, they are the Stanum Bee, the Plumum Bee, the Auric Bee, Aluminum, Ferris, Cuprum, Argentum, Ardite, Cobalt, and Monomena. Well, Manilian. They are all metal bees. As far as I know, it covers all the main metals uh, that you can get by mining in the uh in the world gen uh, and they are somewhat standard bees they are added by magic bees which doesn't make as much sense to me but that's that's all right um, they have no effects and they like generally the normal normal environment but they do work at night and they do work in caves now in order to breed all of these, you will need a block of their respective metal under the hive, whether it's a bee house, well, you can't breed in bee houses, whether it's an apiary or an alviary, you have to have the requisite block of their metal under the house, not the ore, an actual block of the stuff. Uh, and also, one thing to note, the bees added for the Tinker's Construct mod, uh, the which are the, uh, whoops, the Ardite, Cobalt, and Manilian bees, uh, do require a little bit warmer uh, environment than the rest of the bees do. But let's take a look at the output you're going to expect. Each one will spit out honeycomb, but also uh, from these bees you can get the nuggets. The Stanum bee will give you 10. Plumum will give you lead. Auric will give you gold. Aluminum will naturally give you aluminum. Ferrous will give you iron. Cuprum will give you copper. Argentum, silver. Ardite will be all Ardite, cobalt from cobalt, and manilian from the manilian bees. Uh, there isn't really any other special output from them. Uh, they do uh, sometimes give off the uh, just regular plain honeycomb. But other than that, that's about it. So let's go ahead and exit out of here and go take a look at the actual bees themselves. And it didn't crash this time, thankfully. All right. The first bee that I'm going to show here is the Stanum bee. And as you can see, I left a glass block so you can see under it. There's a block of tin under the apiary, and that's what was needed for this bee to be bred. Uh, and also, as you can also probably see and have seen maybe if you watched any of my other videos, I have a numbering system. And what this is, is how far away it is from a hive bee. How many uh, levels of breeding you have to do to get here. Uh, so this is a level 7 because it requires at least a level 6B to get to it. And the two bees that are needed to breed the Sanum bee are the forest bee, which you can get from these forest hives. Generally, you'll find them up in trees in forest-like biomes. And also the industrious bee from the industrious line. Uh, if you don't know how to make that, I have uh, a uh, video for the industrious line up. And also, uh, if you want to download this map, you can just hop through here. I forgot to rename this to industrious. I'll take care of that after I'm done recording. Uh, but that will take you to the industrious branch so you can figure out on your own. Which reminds me, I have made this map available for download so that you can uh, do your own experiments and practice in here. Like if you don't want to waste your bee stock and trying to figure things out, you can just come in here and do it. Uh, and this map does cover everything I've gone over in the episode, everything uh, that you can do in the plains and all the other biomes. And oh, there are three moons. I thought so. Anyway, sorry, I digress. <clears throat> Shiny thing made me look away. Uh, the map is made in the 
unleashed mod pack for feed the beast so you will need to get feed the beast in order to get the mod, the uh, map pack to or the map to work but once you have that everything should be fine i have used bits and pieces from lots of different mods so you will pretty much need the uh at least most of the mod pack to get this map to work anyway so i'd say go ahead and get the feed the beast and go ahead and get unleashed it is awesome but let's take a look at the bees themselves first off is of course the the stanum bee which i have here i will need to grab the princess to see what the uh out, what why is it pollen in here oh from the industrious i knew that but i need to see how long this took me to breed five generations uh now it may take you more it may take you less it is all up to random chance basically but let's just uh, see how this compares to an, a, a purebred. Pretty far off, actually. Yeah, there's some notable differences in there. So I didn't get quite close to a purebred, but you can always stabilize your line through repetitive breeding, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, now let's take a look at what you can expect from a uh, normal lifespan of a typical uh, queen of a purebred stanum line. First off, you're going to notice that you will get one drone out of your endeavors. And also, there's a chance that those comb and a chance that those nuggets. And the comb, I didn't even fill these up with comb. It's just basically your typical comb. You're going to get the beeswax and the honey drop of the honey comb. I, I guess I will, before I upload this map, I'll fill these all with a stack of honeycomb so you can see that. But let's move on to the next one, the Plumum Bee. And it requires having done the Stanum, and it also requires some common bees, which come from the Apes line. Once again, you can either watch my Apes video, or you can go over to the uh, hub and hop into the Apes branch that way. Uh, and the reason why I don't have it linked directly to the uh, branch is because uh, in case you are carrying something, I didn't want to have cross-linking books that link to another place in the same world. Because if I did that, you would all of your inventory and items would go poof. So in order to keep that from happening, I just took you back to the hub. And you can go to the branch from the hub book. But I do have some stock for you to experiment with if you do download this and want to try. But let's take a look at the Plum and Bee and see what we got here it took uh five generations again and let's see how far off from purebred oh oh look at that i managed to get a purebred and that is possible not guaranteed just possible but once again we've got the uh, purebred queens and you can uh, get one drone out of them and the lead nuggets as well as some of the honeycomb and it looks like Standard for this is one product per life cycle on average. So let's move on to the Auric Bee. Now the Auric Bee is kind of cool. It requires a little alchemy to get it. And oh, I forgot to mention the Plum and Bee does need a block of lead under the housing in order to breed. Sorry about that. Anyway, the Auric Bee will require gold under the housing. And you will need the Plum and Bee. And you'll need a minium B or minium, however you pronounce that. Uh, and that's from the alchemical branch. Once again, you can either go take a look at the alchemical branch or you can just watch my alchemical video. But let's see here. Uh, there's an orc B and it is the princess. So let's see how long it took to get this. Seven generation. Looks like these bees are typically going to be harder than normal uh, to get. But that's all right. And it looks like, oh, I got close to a purebred, but not quite. Close, but no cigar. All right, well, I will leave these in here for you to look at if you wish. And let's look at the typical output. Once again, one drone and a chance at, uh, it looks like up to one of the uh, honeycomb or the nugget to pop out. But that's the gold nuggets there. Next up, we have the aluminum bee, and it will require... The industrious bee, which, once again, you can get to through there, or you can watch my industrious video. And the cultivated bee, which is also from the Apes line, that's through that book there. And I have some stock here for you to fiddle with, but let's take a look at the 
drone, and I'll need the princess to check the age. This one took just two generations. Whoops, pretty quick. And I don't know why I exited out of there. Come on, right click in the air. And it's not even close to a purebred. That's just more for my curiosity's sake. But I will put these in here for you to look at if you wish. And let's look at the output. Once again, one drone. There's one of those aluminum nuggets. And I didn't get any comb from this, but you can. Next up is the Ferris Bee, which comes from the Industrious once again, and this time the Common. And, sorry, the Aluminum will need a block of Aluminum, and the Ferris will need a block of Iron under it in order to breed. Uh, but there's some stock for you to fiddle with, and it looks like I got the Ferris Princess, so let's check the age. One generation, alright, and just morbid curiosity. Oh, oh, look at that. I got a purebred, and that is possible, so uh, I, I'm not too terribly surprised, but it, it feels good to get a purebred sometimes, it really does. Even even though I'm not going to be using this world, this is just for the tutorial, it just feels good to get a purebred bee. Anyway, uh, the output you can expect from the purebreds, once again, one drone, chance at the iron nuggets, and some of the honeycomb there, that is just regular honeycomb, oh, that one had two items. That one had five? I didn't even catch that. Wow. So maybe that one can have a higher production or I just got really, really lucky, which is probably the case. Anyway, next up is the Cuprum B. It does require a block of copper underneath it. Any block of copper will do. The ingot block, not a, not the ore. Uh, this, once again, will require an industrious bee, but also a meadows bee, which you can get from the hives that look like this. And I've got some stock in there for you to play with. Let's grab the Cuprum Princess. It is the princess this time. Let's check the age. Two generations. All right. Oh, and let's see. It doesn't look like it's even close to a purebred. Nope. Not even quite. But I will put these in here for you to look at. And let's check the output real, real quick. One drone once again. And some chances at the uh, output looks like up to two. And you did see one of those copper nuggets in there. Lastly, for this part is the Argentum Bean. You will need a block of silver underneath the housing to get this guy to breed. It will require the Noble Bee, uh, it's called the Imperial, which you can get through the uh, Noble book down there. Go watch my Noble Branch uh, video. And it will require a Modest Bee from these yellow hives you find in the deserts. And I've got some stock levels there for you to play with as well. But this is... The Argentum Bee, so I'll need that drone and the princess here. Let's just check the age real quick. One generation, that's nice. And the drone is not even close to a purebred, but that's all right. And I will leave these here for you guys. And let's check the output. Once again, you're going to expect one drone and a chance at some silver nuggets or some honeycomb, as you see there. And I, I will need to remember to fill all those in. Actually, why don't I just go ahead and do that so I don't have to worry about it. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just run down here real quick, toss these in, let this work. And then by the time I am ready to upload this map, the second map for you, uh, this will be done so you can just look at a typical honeycomb output. Or you can go look at one of my other videos uh, or or look in, uh, for instance, the Apes branch that, uh, produces the honeycomb so you can go check the output there. But there are still three more bees to cover in here, the Tinker's Bees. So let's hope this doesn't crash. Fingers crossed. Yes, it didn't crash. I'm sorry for yelling. Okay, I am in a desert biome this time, and it is nighttime. You can sleep in deserts, you just can't sleep in the nether slash hell biome or the inn slash sky biome, so do keep that in mind when you're tinkering around with these bees. Uh, the next bee here is the Ardite bee, and it does require a block of Ardite uh, metal underneath it for it to work, for it to be bred. 
Uh, you will need the industrious bee from the industrious hive. I have a, uh, uh, a, a, a linking book to the industrious branch directly because that's in a different world. Uh, but you will also need infernal bees from the nether, and that's why I have the nether wart here, is in case I got the trait where it needed the nether wart. Uh, but let's look at the ardite bee here. It looks like it took me a few tries to get it. There's what the infernal looks like. And it took me three generations, not too quick, but not too long. And not quite a purebred, but that, that can be whittled out. So I will leave these here for you to look at once again. And let's look at the typical output for these guys. One drone once again. So you're not going to be able to uh, mass produce them. There's some comb. There's an Ardite Nugget. And did I? Yeah, there you go. There's some honeycomb. A stack of the honeycomb will produce a stack of beeswax and almost a stack of the honey drops. There we go. That answers that. And it looks like I didn't get any of the nuggets for the manillion in here okay that's what that red cloth represents for me I uh, I put the red cloth in the different housings to make sure I knew when it produced it one of its products but it's not as important it will produce it anyway before I get on to that let's look at the cobalt here you are going to once again need an infernal bee and an imperial bee from that noble line uh, which, once again, you can get to it through the book, or you can go watch my noble video. And let's grab the drone here and the princess to check the age. Two generations. That's not bad. Oh, this one looks close. Oh, is it? It is a purebred bee. Look at that. That's kind of magical. Move this over here. Oh, there's a hybrid. But uh, let's look at the output. One drone, once again, as, as expected. There's some cobalt nugget and no honeycomb this time. All right. And uh, once again, the final bee, once again over here anyway. The final bee is the manillion bee. It does require both the ardite and cobalt that you got over there. And it requires a block of manillion under it. As well as the cobalt needing a block of cobalt. I keep forgetting that. Apologies. But I've got some stock for you to work with here. And let's grab the Ardite Princess and the Manillion Drone. And check the age. Ten generations. Now this one is kind of more rare. So that's why it's so high. But uh, that is very close to a purebred. Mostly because uh, the Ardite and Cobalt have very similar traits, so it wouldn't take too long to purify that line. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I will leave those there for you to look at, and once again, I'll glance through this. One drone, some comb there, but no Manillion Nuggets, unfortunately. But it does produce them. Uh, I just didn't get one out of that, that run. But that's alright. Now... Uh, that is pretty much all there is to it with this branch, except, uh, it does, you can use some of the bees in the previous housing, uh, in a future, uh, branch called the gem branch. You will have to have done the metallic two branch in order to progress to the gem, or at least some of it. So it's not quite the end of the line, but it's close. Uh, but that pretty much covers everything really there is to say about the, uh, Metallic 2 branch. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful and useful information for you and answered any questions you may have had. But if you do have any questions or comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to respond as quickly and promptly as possible. But that's going to have to be it. So if you do like what I'm doing here and you like this video, uh, please feel free to give a like and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got a lot more stuff coming. That way you know when it comes out. But uh, yeah, thank you once again for watching. This is Storm of Night, and I will talk to you later.